All right, so we, we've got a uh, speed controller and a motor here. We're going to show you how to hook up the motor. And um, make sure you have your speed controller hooked up correctly with your signal wire. Uh, however, your receiver uh, needs you to have it oriented. With uh, the 72 megahertz receivers, the signal wire has to be on the left. Okay, when you plug in your motor, you can plug any three wires together. It doesn't matter. These are your three wires for your motor. This is your power input for your battery. This is called a JST connector. And your battery should have a matching JST. Okay, on your motor, these are 2.3 millimeter connectors. And they're all going to plug in there. But I, I've noticed something on this one. And I, I thought I'd share this with everybody. You can see there's like a little brass ring on here. And they didn't get it covered with the shrink tube. Now with our speed controllers you always have to get a little extra piece of shrink tube. So what we're going to do, we're going we're to set this up, we're going to cut these, uh, cut three pieces off of here. So we've got three pieces to slide on when you put this motor together. Okay. And these are big enough, they can slide right up on the wire. They can be out of the way until you decide to, to place them over the connector. So we're going to slide those on. We're going to plug this in. And we are going to check the rotation of our motor. Uh, when we get this plugged in. Now what? what we're going to do, we're going to plug our power in here in a minute, but it, you can see here's the here's the issue. If I plug in my battery and those rings touch each other, it's going to burn the speed controller up in a matter of seconds. So it's going to give it a dead short. So let's just slide these up for now. And you can use a hair dryer, lighter, whatever to shrink that tube later once you check your rotation. Now what we're going to do to check the rotation I've just got a little sticker here that we're going to put on the motor and you'll be able to see which way the motor is rotating and we can tear the sticker off afterwards. So we're going to plug in the speed controller. We're going to turn on our transmitter and we're going to hold our motor and you'll see it's coming on and it's rotating to the right. So that is correct for a standard front mounted motor. If I needed to reverse it, I would just reverse any two of these connections. Just disconnect it and, and switch any two. That will reverse the direction of the motor. Okay, so everything's good. I can p take this back off of the motor and put my prop on there and all that other stuff. That's stuck on there pretty good. And then I'm going to want to shrink these um, before I mount it on the plane. So watch out for things like the connectors being exposed and burning up speed controllers. And that's it.